Krishna, this is a very important book for men. Yes, you heard me right. This is a very important book for men. Иногда не зря существует такое выражение, что воспитывая мальчика, мы воспитываем мужчину, а воспитывая девочку, мы воспитываем нацию. Mothers and Masters is a comprehensive guidebook for women devotees within ISKCON. It is not just about duties of women, but also about the entire support structure that is required to uphold Sri Dharma, that is, Varnashram Dharma. В сознании Кришны существует огромное количество различных направлений и аспектов, в которых нам нужно развиваться. Одним из них является Варнашрама Дхарма. So, I was in the thought that uh, we should use our intelligence to serve Srila Prabhupada. Whatever uh, we are studying, whatever uh, education we are getting, we should use in Prabhupada. Like I was in medical college, uh, I was preached like that. Okay, we should become a doctor and we should uh, serve the patients. That is our service. But uh, when I come across this book, it helped me so much that to understand that what is the role of a woman. The woman's role is to take care of the children, the house and husband. Because in a traditional Vedic society, it is men who uphold the Sri Dharma. This book serves as a wake-up call and brings our attention back to the important principles that must be followed for the community to have normal, happy families and respectful dealings between husband and wife. Mothers and masters, His Holiness Bhaktivika Swami Maharaj talks elaborately on reviving the knowledge and skills a woman should possess in order to use her human form efficiently in the service of Krishna. A society where women find her equality in her natural strength, not artificial equality as it is being preached in the modern society, where unscrupulous men force a woman to be what a man is. What kind of equality is this? When a woman is forced to think like a man, to act like a man, and when she is told that if you are not like a man, you are useless. No, a woman is not a man. A woman is a woman. She has a natural function, and she should be given the freedom to be in that function. And in today's society, most of the time, if a woman wants to be a woman, it's unfortunate that she is conned upon. She is looked down upon. This situation has to change. Women has to become free. She has to become free to be a woman. This is a big need in society today because young girls and modern women are being influenced by the spiritually and even morally deficient, misdirected educational systems and lifestyles. Girls are meant to be trained in chastity and household duties in order to become responsible mothers in future. Being a Vedic wife and a mother is not backward. It is in fact scientific and, you know, practical. And what more, it's authenticated in the scriptures. A lot of us may struggle with following Vedic principles due to the life we led before coming to Krishna consciousness. But it would be a grievous loss if we don't give the proper training to our daughters or young girls under our care. And the first step To giving that training is to educate ourselves about the principles and then to act upon them in order to set an example. This book magnificently and very efficiently captures the spoken words and the written words of Prabhupada and Sri Dharma and the role of women in a human society and especially in a Krishna conscious society. And if as men we understand this, we accept this, we digest this and then we implement this, then we can see a whole beautiful society of women and men in Krishna consciousness, which is free, which is pure. In this way, we can ensure that this movement goes on without contamination for tens of thousands of years. And that will make Prabhupada very happy. So I am requesting every man and woman, please read this book. We therefore request the readers to study this book with unbiased attention and be open to molding our lives in such a way that it would be pleasing to Srila Prabhupada. In this book, Maharaj quotes extensively from Srila Prabhupada's writings, clarifying many concepts and dispelling many misconceptions about the role of women. This book is a must read and must have tool for every woman and it must be considered being taught in all ISKCON schools today.